hear the word of the Lord your God, all peoples and nations, hear me and give heed, I am the Lord your God, the creator of heaven and earth, of all things seen and unseen, known and unknown. Therefore, run not to the left hand, nor to the right, eyes straight forward. For there I am upon my throne. All judgment and principalities are given into my hand, all is mine. Yes, all you have is mine, for everything you have I have given you, even to the cattle on a thousand hills. Every living creature is mine. Every tribe, tongue and nation is mine. All peoples are given into my hand, says the Lord God of hosts. Behold, the whole earth and everything in it is mine. Even every star and planet you see in the heavens, and those not yet discovered, even all of these are mine. For I have created all things, and through my Son they are and were created. And all that is mine, I have given to him. Kneel therefore, bow down and give him glory. For your life is but a glimmer, a mere drop of rain soon swallowed up by the earth, seen of no more, serving as nourishment for that which grows upon it which is also soon withered and turned to dust once again, dust to dust, ashes to ashes, a flame brought forth, soon extinguished. So likewise are all those of the flesh. All flesh is given into his hand, whether from death unto life eternal, or from life unto death eternal, all is given into his hand. For you are and were created in fragile flesh, beautifully crafted by the hand of your father, having been made alive in the sun. In his image you are and were created, in love I created you, placing you in the garden to my own joy. My own beloved who have received of my breath, created by the Father, made for the Son. Beloved little ones, you are mine, and I have given you to my Son, for all I have is his, and all he has is mine. And so that which I have created must now return to me. For I call you back, and I will receive you to myself once again. Therefore come to me, return to my love, abide in my mercy and know me, live in my Son. And I, even I, shall be your God, and you shall be my people. Six days ending, the seventh at the door, wherein you shall find rest, behold, even I shall rest with you, for one day in the Lord. Therefore, Come now and share in my joy, abide in my love, enter into my rest. For the way is provided, the lamb sacrificed, my own beating heart stilled in death, my own blood poured out so you may return to me. Beloved, the curtain is torn. The way is open. Approach and draw near to me, hear me calling. For the ladder of heaven is joined to earth, glorified and named above all names. Call out, my children, call on his name, and seek to know him as he truly is, and you shall be lifted up to glory. For all those who truly know him know me also, for the Father and the Son are one, Yeshua Yahuwah. Beloved, he alone is the way and the ladder, be joined unto him, be united with me. Glory to glory, by grace of grace, Emmanuel. Yet I hear the cries of this wicked age says the Lord. I have looked upon all these atrocities committed by man. I have seen how he murders the innocent without cause, how he oppresses the poor and the needy and cares not for the widow or the fatherless. I have beheld the hearts of all men. I know every thought and every intention, I am aware of all his plans, of every evil scheme he devises against his neighbor. Thus I have declared the day and appointed the season. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, bitter sorrows and great fear, days of judgment. Recompense for all nations. The great and dreadful day of the Lord, the day of slaughter, great sorrow and bitter tears. It is finished. Therefore, thus says the Lord, No more shall I withhold my hand, nor stay silent, no more shall I wait. The day is done and the sun is setting upon this age of men. For my anger is kindled and burns in the heat of my wrath, my indignation has come to the full and must be poured out. Like a dark storm building upon the horizon brings foreboding, 
as a great torrent inundates a city and running waters quickly overtake a town, like fierce waves beat back the shore or a raging sea capsizes a ship, as the power of the great whirlwind causes widespread devastation, so shall the indignation of the Lord be. Behold, I had given mankind dominion over that which is mine, even over all my good earth and every living thing upon it, and this is how my own children repay me? With sorrows? What do you mean by this, O sons of men? Where are your hearts? For you have endeavored to rip my image from your chests, as you cast away every blessing with which I had blessed you, feeding it to the dogs. Behold, even the pearl, of which you were to cherish, have you taken and smashed upon the rocks, shattering all hope, breaking my heart in pieces. O sons of men, what do you mean by this? Why now do you go out to pervert your ways, as one with no heart and no mind at all? For that which I behold in your hearts is evil upon evil, darkness, veiled darkness and vain deceits. Even now, you devise plans to utterly destroy yourselves. Sons of men, what do you mean by these things? How is it I bless you, and you return evil for good and death for life, even to the destroying of all things holy? even to the innocent, murdering my little ones while still in the womb. Have you no love in your hearts at all? Have you no compassion for these I have given you? Dead generation! Multitudes of condemned and dying peoples! Therefore hear me, you wayward and most wicked generation, call on your men in authority, bring out your riches, bow down and call upon your idols. Call upon your gods and possessions to save you? if they are able. Bring out your weapons of war, encompass the holy city round about, and seek to fulfill every evil desire of your black hearts, yes, come out and beat upon your chests and shake your fists at heaven. The kingdoms of men are finished. Judgment reigns and it shall fall hard upon your backs, until every last one of you is broken or blotted out. Says the Lord God. Children. I had sent to you grace. O most beloved of my heart, my created ones, I am your own father. Even I have loved you, sacrificing my own son, spilling my own blood which runs in his veins. I laid myself upon the altar. Sorrows, most bitter sorrows, such enmity and tears. Your shepherd weeps for you. I take no pleasure at all in your destruction. Yet you choose death you choose death. O oh, beloved, you choose death. Estranged children, you are far from me, returning to me hate though I myself have loved you. Little children, return to me that I may heal you. Receive of me and partake of my supper, receive of this bread I have broken for you, drink of this wine I have poured out for you. Stop breaking my heart. Tears, bitter and deep sorrows wailing in all the earth. The day is far spent, night is here, all lampstands removed from their places, all candlesticks put out, all light gathered and taken, darkness, thick darkness spreads forth across the land. Behold, you are undone and given up to judgment. For only those who receive of grace shall abide in it, and only those who are accepted shall be taken, the rest left to dwell in judgment choosing not to escape from underneath its shadow. For it has fallen and shall be very heavy, a weight which cannot be moved, a way to wash in tears and blood and much death, a burden of heavy sorrows. Reap, O son of man, reap. Lay the axe to the trees, level the forest and burn the branches. Uproot and destroy and judge the earth, judge and destroy. Refine and uplift until the day is done says the Lord God. Therefore thus says the Lord, Yes I, the everlasting who is from everlasting to everlasting, I am, repent, and give me glory. Embrace and kiss the Holy One of Israel. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, my Son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Eat of his body and drink of his blood. My children, Give up this life and depart from all this sin, forsake this world and now walk in my ways, 
and you shall surely escape all these things, lifted up to glory. From glory to glory, from grace to grace. Life without end.